Hello, friends, and welcome to episode 953 of the Juicebox Podcast. Hey, everybody, I'm back with my next week Govi diary. This one gets you through the 1.7 milligrams, all four pens, and you'll hear what happened to me along the way. While you're listening, please remember that nothing you hear on the Juice Box podcast should be considered advice, medical or otherwise. Always consult a physician before making any changes to your healthcare plan. Today, I interviewed a girl who has type 1 diabetes and is taking Ozempic, and that's very interesting. Um, and we'll get that one out as soon as we can for you. All you We Go V Diary fans uh, might really love that one. But for now, if you're looking to save, you can save with my link. Drinkag1.com forward slash juice box. You'll get a free year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs when you start drinking AG1 with my link. And you can save 10% on your first month of therapy at betterhelp.com forward slash juice box. Get yourself some help. Get better help. This episode of the Juice Box Podcast is sponsored by Cozy Earth. Cozy Earth makes a lot of my favorite things. I'm wearing a hoodie right now from Cozy Earth that I can't describe to you how soft and just comfortable it is. I'm never hot in it. I'm never cold in it. It feels like it feels like someone made it just for me. CozyEarth.com. Use the offer code JUICEBOX at checkout to save 35% on your entire order. Everything. You put in $1,000 worth of stuff, you save 35%. You put in $100 worth of stuff, you save 35%. You save 35% with the offer code JUICEBOX at CozyEarth.com. Hey, everybody, it's Scott. I'm back uh, Tuesday, June 20th. Um, I'm about to do my first injection of 1.7. Um, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, my mom isn't doing well, and I had to fly uh, cross country unexpectedly the other day and uh didn't have any time to prepare i uh you know food that kind of stuff just bought tickets left the next morning i got stuck in an airport for seven hours uh, because of a mechanical issue and weather and uh it was tougher than usual because there's just not a lot of food that you know, I was inclined to say that there's not a lot of food that I can eat, but I don't, that's not what I mean. There's not a lot of food that I want to eat at this point. I'm, um, I'm seeing a connection between things that I would have eaten in the past, even though I wasn't overeating them, that I just look at now and think that's not worth getting in the way of what's happening here for me. I think that might be the best way to put it. I am, uh, this morning, <clears throat> 20, hold on a second. This morning. Yeah, this morning I am 23.4 pounds lighter than I was when this all began on March 28th. It's the day I did my first injection and made the first um, uh, the first diary entry. So I am 23.4 pounds lighter. My BMI is 3.5 points lower. My body fat, wow, uh, almost six points lower. My hydration, like my body water measure, continues to go up. Started at 47 back then in March. It's 50.8 now. Um, I mean, there's a lot more here. I'll go over them with you 
in a couple of weeks, but my fat-free body weight is dropping. My subcutaneous fat is dropping. That's gone from 30 to 20, 25.7, from 30 to 25.7. Visceral fat is staying pretty much the same. Muscle mass is holding. Bone mass is holding. Protein holding. My metabolic age has not fallen yet. All right, I'm trying. I'm going to be 52 and my metabolic age is still going to be 57, but it started at 58 and that's not nothing. Anyway, back to the food. I, um, I found myself in a restaurant one time and I looked at the menu and I thought, I don't see anything here. I mean, genuinely, I don't see anything on this menu that a person wanting to stay in a caloric deficit and trying to lose weight and feel better and et cetera would buy. I ended up getting a side salad. The greens weren't terrific. I picked through them the best I could. And um, I just thought, well, I'll eat later when I have better access to food. I was able to do that because, of course, the Wegovy keeps me from feeling hungry, uh, both like physically in my stomach and, I guess, mentally in my head. Uh, so that's a really big deal. I haven't been dizzy. Like, you know, I used to get like, oh, I forgot to eat. I've been dizzy. That hasn't happened. I know how to stay in front of that now. And as soon as I got back from the the trip, I went right back to my breakfast, couple of eggs in a wrap. I put a couple shrimp with it this morning. I think the other day I put something else with it. Um, Lunch, I had uh, more of the shrimp with some rice had a nice turkey sandwich, rye bread, um, real turkey, not a lot on it after that. In the airport in Chicago, I had chicken noodle soup that was very good and uh, a half a turkey sandwich. There was too much bread. There was too much cheese. I just ate what I wanted. Um, Very comfortable. And um, my thinking about food is shifting uh, like a million percent. Anyway, I am moving up now to 1.7 milligrams. This is the first injection of 1.7. And I guess I'll do it now. And then uh, if I don't have anything else to say, I'll see you next week. All right, here we go. That was the cap. This is me standing up. And here looks good. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, um, the full feeling, the actual physical full feeling in the, I'm going to say for a month or so, there were times when I would eat and you, it almost, I know this wasn't the case, right? But it felt like the food was like stopping halfway down your, like, you know, your esophagus. And um, it's not the case. It was the feeling you had. That's been better. Um, better meaning I don't feel it as often, uh, reflux that I, um, had earlier on. I can't decide if it's, well, no, what, you know what? I can decide. I was going to say that I'm not sure if I'm just eating earlier and therefore, uh, in the day and therefore I'm not experiencing it at night, but I don't think so. I think my body's kind of getting accustomed to the, um, to the Wegovy. I'm not feeling that as often. I mean, as far as like thinking about food, that doesn't really happen, but it hasn't stopped me from having like treat kind of stuff once in a while. I had a little chocolate ice cream uh, yesterday, not a lot, a tiny bit. Um, I've had a couple of gummy bears. They were very good the other day, but I didn't eat like, you know, I didn't snack on them. I had like, I was like, oh, gummy bear. I took a couple of them and that was it. Still, I'm getting my sweet fixes from like bananas and oranges I do have chocolate, like a good quality chocolate uh, in the form of like these little chips. And I'll have a couple once in a while. I had a cookie the other day. It was good. Uh, a small one. It was homemade, but it was good. Um, but not like amazing. I will say that any of like the, you know, like the, I don't know, sunshine and rainbows feeling that you might get from food. It's not like that uh, anymore. 
I can't tell if that's the medication or just my excitement about losing weight and feeling better. And that's the other thing too. My face is looking different. Um, my stomach and my, you know, is very, uh, is on a very similar plane of existence as my chest, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I can see my body changing. My body is doing a good job of, um, not hanging. You know what I mean? Like it's coming together. Uh, it's been easier on my knees and my feet, you know, losing weight. Uh, I definitely feel better overall. Uh, it's been great so far. So anyway, I'm going to go V and I'll uh, be back next week. I'm going to sound like a guy with a podcast for a second, which I try not to, but there's no way around it. Cozy Earth is a sponsor of the podcast. They've been sponsoring the show all year, and they just, thank you, Cozy Earth, bought ads for the rest of the year, which means you guys must be liking Cozy Earth as well. So for that, let me just first say thank you to all of you listening. Now, what is Cozy Earth? Well, they sell bedding, bath, sleep, clothing, soft things. That's the best way I can say it. Comfortable things. I am using Cozy Earth sheets on my bed. They're made with viscose bamboo, and they are incredibly soft and comfortable. They wash well. They hold up great. They are a joy to climb into. I'm just going to tell you, Cozy Earth sent me those sheets when I started doing the ads so that I could try. Honestly, they sent them to me before I started doing the ads. I said, I got to sleep on the sheets before I talk about the sheets. They sent me the sheets. It was a no-brainer to say yes to those ads. Not because I got a free pair of sheets, uh, because I've now bought things from Cozy Earth with my own personal money. I've bought more pillowcases. I've bought towels. I've bought a lot. And the towels. All right, you want to hear about my towels. It's a crazy thing to say. I have Cozy Earth waffle bath towels. On one side, they have this kind of waffle pattern. I use that when I first get out of the shower. It kind of absorbs up a lot of the, the, the water. You know what I'm saying? And then I flip it around to the super soft side, and I do the rest of the towel down that way. My bits and pieces love the super soft side. I think it's possible your bits and pieces would too. CozyEarth.com. Now, at checkout, you use the offer code JUICEBOX to save 35% off of your entire order. And a little bird has told me, that that number is going to go up very soon from 35% to a larger percentage. Stop by and check it out. See if that's happened yet. CozyEarth.com. All right. I've talked about my bath towels. They're amazing. I've talked about my sweatshirt. The pullover, I swear to you, I love it. But the joggers might be my absolute favorites. And Arden's wearing a pair of lounge pants now that she says are terrific. She loves the way they look on her, how they feel, how they are when she's sleeping with them. Listen, there's so much over there for ladies, for men, for bathing, for sleeping. Go check it out, won't you? CozyEarth.com. Use the offer code JUICEBOX at checkout. Then I'm going to take this little bit at the end here to say thank you to Cozy Earth and thank you to everyone listening. At the beginning of the year, Cozy Earth took a shot with me, bought some ads, and you guys, you went and checked them out and made some purchases, and now they're here for the rest of the year supporting the podcast. So I'm just going to say it very plainly. When you use my offer code, Juicebox at checkout, the people at Cozy Earth buy more ads, and you get more content, and all kinds of great things happen. If you love being comfortable, if you love pampering yourself, if you love your bits and pieces smiling back at you, that's a weird thought. Don't think about that. Go to CozyEarth.com, buy some stuff, Use the offer code JUICEBOX at checkout. When you use the links in the show notes of your podcast player for all the other advertisers, you're also supporting the podcast. Thank you so much. Let's get back to my Wegovy diary. Hey kids, I'm back. It's June 27th, and I've had my first odd week on WeGovi. Back on the 20th, I weighed 
210 pounds. And, uh, yeah, on the 20th. Next day, I um, weighed a little more, 210.6. Now, the 20th was when I injected the first dose of 1.7 milligrams. But okay, next day, 209.6. I'm like, ah, back at it. 209.2 the following day. It's like, this is happening, 1.7, it's going to be the way to go. Uh, But then, 208.4. I know, right? It's happening. I'm doing it. I'm going to be under 200 in no time. Next day, 209.4. Next day, 210. And today, I'm 210. So what happened? Did Scott find a way to eat? No. I uh, think the larger dose might have uh, brought back some of the earlier side effects. So when you first started, when I first started using the medication, you have this sort of like overly full feeling. It almost, I don't know another way to explain it other than it feels like if your stomach and the tube between your stomach and your mouth was all one piece, it feels like the food is like in the tube. It's not like a horrible feeling for me. It's not a great feeling, but it's a very full feeling. Almost like a little burpee. You know what I mean? Um, but a uh, bigger problem this week was I missed a day of the magnesium oxide, which seemed to lead to some slowing of the process. You understand what I'm saying? There was no poopy. And, um, I'm uh, constipated the last couple of days. So I don't think that the weight is indicative of a weight gain. I think it's indicative of the constipation. And I am just going to trust the process and assume that my body will adjust to the 1.7 and keep going. Anyway, you should have seen me at 208. I was super excited for the number. Like I thought, oh, I'm going to be under 200 soon. But I had a I've had two interesting experiences this week that I'll share with you before I inject this. They're brief. The first one was, I was with a bunch of people who I don't think completely understood how this all works. And they were asking questions and I was answering the questions. And the person says to me, but, um, I mean, you're having to use medicine to do it. I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm like, I'm like what, what's your point? Like I'm 20, I mean, what's the, I'm 210 today. So 20, 30, I, I am 23 and a half pounds lighter than I was when I started this. And it's a significant improvement for my life. Um, not just like how I look, right. Which is the other thing I want to tell you about, but for just how I feel, I feel so much better and I'm not, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a slave to like food. I can eat when I want to, um, I don't have big portions anymore. I don't have that overly like uh, feeling like, like I feel full because of the medication, but I don't feel like I overate. Like I haven't felt like that in a long time. Um, Anyway, point is I, I, if people don't understand, I, I'm happy to explain it to them, but I'm not going to sit there and apologize to them because I couldn't figure out a way to do this on my own. Like I'm 51, almost 52 years old. This is my last shot. Like, you know, I don't know a lot of people in their 60s who are losing weight, like through diet and exercise, you know. Um, So anyway, excuse me while I clear my throat. I'm going to get a drink. So anyway, I was happy to share that with them. I don't know if they understood or not. Uh, And I also heard a lot of like, what about your liver? Like, like. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I guess at some point somebody's medicine hurt their liver in their life. And so they just assumed all medications like can't use medicine. It'll hurt your liver. And I'm like, okay, it's injected. It's not metabol. Anyway, we didn't want to go all through it with them because it didn't seem like it was going to go anywhere. But it was an interesting response. Nonetheless, by the way, all from people who could use to learn to lose 25 pounds. So and that's not me being judgy about them. I'm telling you for health reasons, these people all could stand to lose some weight. All right. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about before I inject this is the how I look part. That's been my least, the least of my focus so far. Like I definitely wanted to be healthier. I don't want to have a heart attack. I want to feel better, all those things. Um, But I, I, the last thing I thought of was like, how do I look? 
Um, I can tell you I dropped a uh, pant size, like a waist size, two sizes, which has been pretty crazy. And the ones that I just bought at the new size, luckily it's summer. I'm just getting shorts, but they're starting to feel a little slippy, like they might fall. You know, I have a classic no butt, no hips guys like thing. So I'm going to have to get a tighter one, I think. Um, but and there's a massive difference in just like my my body size like the 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 bulk of the mass of my body right i shouldn't have said massive cuz then i had to say mass again but my around my chest around my back around my sides my midsection they all are smaller i am shrinking like there's no doubt about that but the excitement of it has gone now like you know like 23 pounds like wow it's amazing like the numbers seemed exciting um but then i look in the mirror and i go oh yeah, I'm not done. Like, I don't magically look better. It's, um, I look smaller. So anyway, that was a bit of a thing because I think in my mind, the visual and the number were tied together. Um, and as the numbers falling, like, don't get me wrong, like I'm getting smaller, but, and, and my body is, um, doing a good job of compensating, like shrinking up, you know, that's, that's happening pretty well. Um, but obviously there's going to be a, a, a lot of exercise in the future to f- tighten things. Um, but I don't know, like, I guess it was more visual. Like for the first time for me, it was visual. I looked in the mirror and I thought, I don't look magically better. I don't know what I expected, but it finally struck me like wherever I think I'm headed, I'm not there yet. Anyway, that was pretty much all my thoughts for this week. Uh, second injection, we go V 1.7 milligrams cap off. Hopefully I'll, um, go V to the bathroom soon too. Do you think they named it that because of like that? Like, like, here we go here. It's gotta be, here we go, right? Here we go losing weight. Here we go feeling better, blah, blah, blah. It's gotta be what they meant. All right. A little less belly to inject into. Here we go. Hmm, a little bit of pressure there for the 1.7 milligrams under the skin. Nothing bad. I wouldn't call it a pinch. Just a little pressure. All right. People, Scotty out. Talk to you next week. Hopefully I'll have a weight loss to share with you. Uh, I don't want to keep gaining weight because if I do, that'll mean, <laughs> that'll mean I have a giant bag of poo inside of me. That's not good. We don't want that. All right. See ya. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Scott on July 4th, 2023. Uh, This is going to be a short one because I have to go to a picnic. It's Tuesday, so I'm injecting my third go of 1.7 milligrams of Wegovi. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to inject. I'll tell you a little bit about this week. I fire off an email to my physician, and they send a refill for the step up to the pharmacy. Okay, uh, I weigh 207.4 pounds. Yay! Uh, more importantly, this week uh, was full of family visits. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much I said on this, these episodes, but my mom passed away recently, and so uh, there were people here. We were at restaurants, you know, having get-togethers, things like that. My mom basically outlived everybody except her best friend, who was on another coast. So she couldn't make it. So it was just, you know, get togethers, Uh, food, home cooked things. I was no trouble to eat, you know, well during those events, even in restaurants. Uh, I did bake cookies for the little kids that were here and I had some cookies and still I lost weight. Two point, you know, I lost weight. I'm 207.4 pounds now today. Honestly, don't believe that without modern medicine, I would have gotten through the last two and a half weeks and weighed less. Like, I don't think I would have weighed the same if this would have happened before we go V. I'm sure I would have gained 10 pounds in the last two and a half weeks, just from airplanes and crappy food and bad restaurants and stuff like that. So, uh, miracle modern medicine, right? I'm 207.4 pounds today. I feel terrific. Uh, does not seem to be any end in sight for this, which is fantastic. 
Uh, I did not stress eat. I did have some cookies um, because we baked some cookies for the kids and everything. And um, I didn't gain weight. I lost weight and I didn't eat them crazy. I had one. I was like, that was good. And then I put it down. Last night, I picked one up. I took a bite of it and I thought, I don't want this. And I put it down. I have never in my life done that. It was pretty amazing. So, um, you know, while we're speaking about the miracles of modern medicine, my mom lived to just about 81 years old. She missed her 81st birthday by maybe a month and a half. She had a pacemaker for the last 20 years. She had, was in heart failure, has been fighting off type 2 diabetes for five or six years, you know, had a major cancer um, problem, a huge surgery. Uh, in the end, her cancer did come back. But again, without modern medicine, I don't think my mom gets out of her 60s and she misses my son's entire life and my daughter's entire life. She has other grandchildren, other weddings that she got to go to, both my brother's weddings and all the conversations and the things she did in her private life that I don't know about. And they're all due to advancements in, in modern medicine. So I'm going to take advantage of this one and say, here we go, V. And then I'll talk to you when I get back. Oh, well, that was a bummer. I lost weight, guys. That's what that's the takeaway. I lost weight. I feel better. And I have a perspective on this that is long term, very macro. You know, I see this as a process and it is not a process that I have become. I've never become frustrated with it. Like before, if like you lose weight, you're like, oh, I lost eight pounds. And you think, oh, I'll lose eight pounds again next week. Or, then it doesn't happen. You're like, well, this isn't going to work. And you just kind of give it away. But with this, you know, little line on the scale, on that scale app, it just keeps going down like a real slow ski slope. And I'm, uh, I'm good to be on this ride. Thank you so much for listening. I, uh, I might button this one up. I don't know. Actually, I'll hold on to it for one more, my last injection of 1.7, and then I'll make this an episode and send it out to you. Have a good day. Oh, crap. Um, I just injected my 1.7, but I bumped the button, so it didn't record. So anyway, uh, click. Click. That didn't hurt. Okay, everybody, I'm back. It is July 11th. Sorry, it's my water bottle. Crunchy. It's July 11th. Tomorrow is my 52nd birthday. So spending it with my kids and my wife. Taking a day off from, I was going to say taking a day off from making the podcast, but that's not true, is it? Let me say. No, I'm going to record early in the morning and then I'm going to spend the day with my kids and my wife. But first, I want to tell you about this week with Wegovi, which was weird. It was a weird week with Wegovi because I, I didn't lose as much weight as I have been, which is fine, but my weight was up and down. And it took me a couple of days to figure out what was going on, but I finally did. And I want to tell you how I got ahead of it. So up until now, I've just been going with my regular daily supplements. I drink uh, Athletic Greens, as you know, but then I take magnesium oxide to make the poopy move. Um, I take What just happened with the computer? Hold on a second. My computer just acted weird. Sorry, right, computer's fine. Sorry about that. Um, I make a, let's see, I take a probiotic, an extra probiotic. I take two magnesium oxides a day, uh, vitamin D. I take zinc. I take um, ashwagandha I'm trying right now. But the magnesium oxide's really the focus of this conversation because it keeps me regular. Well, I started getting nauseous on this 1.7, the third injection of 1.7. And I kind of couldn't figure it out. So I want to talk about nausea and I want to talk about consuming food. Those are my two thoughts for this, this little chunk here. It took me a couple of days to realize it's not nausea in the classic sense. It's, it's nausea like I haven't gone to the bathroom. Like it didn't hit me right away, but like two or three days went by and I was like, ah, I don't remember using the, the bathroom. And I was like, uh-oh. Then my stomach started feeling funny. And at first I'm like, oh, I'm nauseous from Wegovi. Then I realized I think I might just be nauseous because I'm eating and nothing's escaping. You know what I mean? So on day three, I was like, I'm going to take fiber. 
Like something needs to happen. But then I had this panic. I was like, what if I put fiber in there and nothing comes out still? So you have that kind of unknown, like is the medication keeping me from going to the bathroom? And what if I keep putting more stuff in? I don't want to be in pain. You know, right now I'm just uncomfortable. So I did finally decide to take fiber, but instead of going with um, my one that I used to use all the time, which I have a fair amount of around the house, uh, because sometimes that can, I don't know, you, you, if you, you have to get on a schedule with it. I went with something a little, um, I don't know, easier on my system. It's another fiber we have in the house called Sun Fiber. It's That's just the brand name. Anyway, I took that, and the next morning, a uh, voila, here we go V again. So all that was better. But why, you know, what was I noticing beyond the, the nausea? I was gaining weight. Like every day that went by that I didn't, you know, go, my weight was going up. So I was back on, I measured, what's the last time I told you my weight? The 4th, right? The 4th of July. Because who doesn't record a Wagovi episode on the 4th of July besides me? So on that day, I was 207.8. I held that again the next day, and then the not going to the bathroom started, and then by the 8th of July, I was 209.2. Isn't that crazy? 207, 208, like a pound and a half almost. I don't think it was all poopy, you know what I mean? I also started noticing that as I wasn't being regular, my body started um, retaining fluid again, which was crazy interesting. Anyway, get in the uh, fiber, the sun fiber, and... um, I've had it now for two days. I didn't even get on the scale for those two days. I was just like, let me just see what happens. So last time I weighed myself was on the 8th, 209.2. Today's the 11th. I've had the fiber for two days. I was 208.4. I had to um, ignore that at one point I was 207.8 because it really is, it's just, it's eight ounces, like, right? Like, it's not a big deal. Um, But it is initially... You got to stop your brain from saying, oh, no, you gained weight this week. Like you went up a pound or a half a pound or 0.8 ounces or whatever. It's just all ridiculous. The way I tend to lo- think about it instead is was on a good path, hit a speed bump, figured out the speed bump, back on the path again. That's all. Like I don't care. Very long term goals for this this whole process. I have um, in the past, I would think about weight loss like very in the now. Like I started doing this, you know, knock off some water weight. I lost five pounds this week. The next week, if you didn't lose five more pounds, you're like, oh, it doesn't work, you know, like, and then backwards again. With this, I'm not worried. I'm tracking now for you guys, but I don't care. Like I'm thinking about a year from now. A year from now, I know how much I went away. You know, I'm 208.4 today down from, let's not forget where I started, like 233 something it's amazing. It's been like four months, but I'm, I keep looking at myself in the mirror. I can't exactly tell where my best weight is going to be. Um, but I am getting to the point now where I want to incorporate more exercise, but and I can't believe this is happening because I'm old, I guess, but apparently I chipped a tiny little bone off in my big toe on my right foot, like this little tiny free floating bone. I got an x-ray And every once in a while, it settles in the joint between my two bones and my big toe and searing pain. So I can't move around too much. I have uh, an appointment with a surgeon in a couple of days so they can take it out so I can get moving again. I mean, between the knee last year and the toe, I'm like, every time I try to exercise, being old gets in the way. Body's breaking. But anyway, that's still the goal. I think once I start adding exercise to this, I think the weight's going to start dropping pretty quickly. Um, but for now, we go, we still works exactly the same way. Not hungry, feel full. That's that. But I have learned because we've had a couple of events like a picnic or my, um, my mom's, you know, celebration with my family, um, that kind of stuff. My son came home. I can eat now. Like I'm learning that I could, I could keep eating and overeat. I'd feel full, but I could do it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. I want you to understand. But in the beginning, I thought, oh, that full feeling means I can't eat anything. But 
Now I realize that it's a mix of you don't feel hungry in your head, you don't feel hungry in your stomach. It doesn't mean you can't put the food in your stomach. So you have to make a conscious decision to eat reasonable portions because if you just like kind of shut your brain off for a second and like go back to where you were before, I could end up eating more food. So I, I see that, which has been valuable to understand. All right, anyway, uh, so food, pooping, covered my topics. Uh, I am 208.4 this morning, which means I have lost a total of, let's see, a lot of weight, 25 pounds. I've lost 25 pounds. It's pretty crazy, right? Um, we haven't gone over the trends, so I'll do that very quickly. 208.4 this morning on the 11th. Looks like my BMI, 30.9. It's almost as low as it's ever been. Uh, body fat, 29.5. My hydration's a little down over the last couple of days. I'm assuming that's because I think I was retaining water with the constipation, and now it's coming out. Um, skeletal muscle is holding steady. BMR, steady. Fat-free body weight, geez, 147.4. Does that mean I'm carrying? I can't mean I'm carrying 60 pounds of fat. Jesus, am I? That's ridiculous. I don't think I should weigh 140 pounds, by the way. Uh, subcutaneous fat, 25.5. Visceral fat was down at 13, but jumped back to 14. Muscle mass is steady, actually increasing a little. That's excellent. Bone mass, steady. Protein, steady. Mm, metabolic age, still 57. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to button up this episode for you. I appreciate you guys listening to this. This was a tougher week. It was hard to see the weight go up. Uh, it's only the second time it's happened in four months, but still... You know, you almost get spoiled. You're like, I'm on a roll. This is working. I'm going to lose two more pounds this week. Two more pounds. Two more pounds. Like, you know, and then I was like, oh, I gained two pounds in the middle of the week. And, you know, it could frighten you a little bit. But I am undeterred. I have my 1.7, my last one. And the next uh, step up, I've already received from the pharmacy. So next week, I'm already ready. It's in the fridge and waiting for me. You know how this works. You pop off the cap. You find a place to stick it. Let's go belly side. Click. Click. It's in. Semaglutide injection. 1.7. We over. Done. Uh, I got to tell you, whoever came up with this drug, you're a genius and I appreciate it. I love that you guys are listening to this. It's very cool. Uh, I appreciate you keeping up with what's going on. I have uh, some other people in my life using these meds now. Uh, people I know are going to be able to kind of expand their stories a little bit. I've got a type 2 using Ozempic um, in my brother. Uh, my wife is using Wegovi for weight loss as well um, as she's fighting with what we think is long COVID, which is really crazy. Um, but she's right up to where I am. Like she, um, I think she's right around the 25-pound mark as well. It's very cool. Uh, we're feeling better. We look better. And um, I think that's important. Now I just get my little toe fixed. And then I can hop back on my bike again and see how quickly we can't make this, uh, the rest of this lifelong collection of fat go away. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back very soon with another episode of the Juice Box Podcast. I got two thoughts here. One, Cozy Earth. Use the offer code JUICEBOX at checkout. CozyEarth.com. Save right now 35% off your entire order. And here's my last thought. Novo Nordisk, what are you doing? Buy some ads on these Wigovi things. You're crazy. I'm loving your Govi. Let me tell people about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. I'm representing. Fat man getting skinny. Uh, that's all I got. I'll talk to you guys soon. I really do appreciate when you listen. If you've got type 1, type 2 diabetes, go check out the private Facebook group, Juicebox Podcast, Type 1 Diabetes. <laughs>